wanted to kind of compare the penetration of the 150 grain 300 blackout to the 64 grain 223 the way that I shot into the dirt I don't think it really showed what I was trying to show hey guys I'm gonna make another shooting video today just like the other day I'm gonna be shooting a gallon milk jug full of dirt the other day I was shooting some 223 ammo I was comparing 55 grain varmint loads to the 64 grain loads um, neither one of them shot through the milk jug then I shot it with the 350 legend the 350 legend went through the milk jug so today I'm gonna shoot it with one of those and then next I'm gonna compare that to one of these 300 blackout 150 grains those are the two guns that I'm gonna be shooting from now if neither one of those shoot through I'm gonna try shooting it with this 243. I don't have any Winchester ammo for that. So for that, I'll be using the Federal Power Shock. The milk jug I shot in the last video I made was about just shy under 10 pounds. This one is almost 12 pounds. So it's a little bit more dense, the dirt in this jug. So now I'm just gonna look at the back of these boxes. This is the 64 grain 223. You can see the velocity on the back. You can see the energy is 1,296 foot-pounds. The 300 blackout, which is shooting a 150 grain bullet, energy is 1,202 foot-pounds. And if neither one of those punches through, I'm gonna use this 243, 100 grain soft point. Look at the energy on the back of that. 1,945 foot-pounds. First shot will be the 223. See what it looks like. You can see I hit pretty low. And it did not come out so once again like I suspected it caught the uh, 223 now one thing I'll say about this milk jug you can see it's not the same thickness all the way through so it would be a good idea if I do hit a little low on the milk jug that way it's more comparable on the thickness of what I'm shooting into now I'll shoot it with the 300 blackout all right guys 300 blackout All right, let's see what I did. I see it busted open. I probably, I probably actually hit a little bit too low with that one. Let's see, but it did. I don't see where it came out the bottom, but it sure enough shot all the way through it. I'd like to have hit a little bit higher than that, to be honest with you but I also hit in about the same spot, so there may have been a channel already dug by the first bullet. Just for the fun of it, I'm gonna try to shoot it somewhere around in here with the 243. You can see it's empty of dirt there, so the density, of course, is not gonna be the same, but might as well shoot with another gun. All right, I got the 243. Well guys, I don't know if this video really turned out like I expected because I feel like with the 300 blackout and the 223 going in pretty close to the same place that uh, it's not a really good comparison because that would have altered the density of the dirt right in that area. Well, I wanted to kind of compare the penetration of the 150 grain 300 blackout to the 64 grain 223 the way that I shot into the dirt I don't think it really showed what I was trying to show if I'd have packed the dirt in between shots that way there wasn't already a channel maybe it would have done better 
But anyways, if you've watched to the end, thanks for watching.